What a piece of shit. I feel like if I had found that pump, what I'm doing is so much cooler than what he's doing. Why is he wasting his time making that clip? Lads, I've been having a lot of fun with the absolute doom season of Fortnite, and I hope you have been as well. But there is one aspect of modern Fortnite that doesn't really have to do with the seasonal update that has been getting on my nerves. And that is the skill-based matchmaking system. Flat out, Fortnite has a skill-based matchmaking problem. It's gotten to the point where I can reliably predict how a lobby is gonna go. When you're starting at the beginning of a day, you'll generally get your easiest lobby, especially if you haven't played in four or five days. But if you don't manage to cap that first end game situation of the day, it's gonna spike difficulty on you and you're gonna be in much more hardcore lobbies. And when it comes to my account, I've had this account since chapter one, season three. So it's not only just a matter of my account level, it's not only just a matter of how many wins I've gotten, it's just a matter of how old my account is. I often run into pro players, semi-pro players, and fellow YouTubers and content creators. And in this video, I was going for a double pump victory because there was a major change to the Monarch Pistol that was temporary. By the time you watch this, it's already gonna be gone. But in attempting to do so, I had some of the most frustrating lobbies I've had in a long time. And it really shows why content creators kind of strayed away from Fortnite. Because it's almost impossible to make meme content to make challenge videos unless you are really, really good or you know how to get around the skill base and into the bot lobbies. Now there is a technique for this that I'm not gonna talk about and I don't really condone because I make most of my content exclusively in solos. Sure, it's a bit harder, but I think it makes better videos. Anyway, comment your thoughts on this down below. Tell me how much experience you have in this game. When did you start Fortnite and what do your lobbies look like? This video is quite an emotional journey, so I encourage you to watch it until the end because you will see the rise and fall of an entire Fortnite stream within this one video. Use code SIREN in the Fortnite item shop to support this channel. I just want a clip, man. Let me get a clip on you. Oh, I was gonna say, there's no way I get a purple pump. And I was right, there's no way I get a purple pump. Wow, literally. Why is pump shotgun the rare shotgun right now? Ah! Psychobot, this is what I'm saying. No human being would do that. What the f- this bot had a psychic connection with that chest, bro! Is that a blue pump? I think that is a blue pump down there. I would like that. 22. It really fills that gap, you know? It fills that gap. The only thing is we're not gonna have a rapid fire weapon. But that shouldn't matter so much. Since we're not in uh, build mode. Damn it, bro. That shockwave that I don't have. What the hell was that, bro? How did I not hear this guy? Cat girl, I guess, is the correct name because that person was like a ghost, bro. I hear every single, every single person in the vicinity, including a bot coming across the ocean. But I don't hear this person. Okay. Aura is vibes you give off. Yeah, I mean, like, the only difference between Riz and Aura is that you Riz up a... You Riz someone. And Aura is just what you have naturally walking around. But they're pretty much the same thing. Okay, so we need to get a pump and a Monarch. But there's so many chests here. Should be easy. Wait, they're the same? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're, they're, like, they're like cousins, bro. That was just me knowing the drop spot better. I don't think he realized that I could come up through there. Whoa. Wow. 
Wow. That flow berry fight, bro. Didn't even need the jetpack right there. Okay, well that was just the fight we had to get through to get our monarch. Oh, look at that. Sovereign. Dude, the Sovereign looks a lot like the Hammer Pump. I keep thinking they're the same gun. Oh! Ah! I see you. Ah! Laser Muscle. Yeah, I noticed this. At the beginning of Chapter 5, they were not... Like, all the attachments were completely random. And you would get some of the worst guns. And now, they're pretty standard. Literally same exact build on these two. Sovereign. This game doesn't want me to have the pump, does it? Who's shooting at Emma Frost? That's my bay. The best part about this weapon is you'll never run out of ammo. I don't even know why I thought I ran out of ammo. Light rounds? I have freaking like 500 of them right now. Like this. I can just beat her down with it from a distance. Now, I would take your mythic, but we're doing double pump challenge, boy, and I honestly feel like I don't need it. As long as I hit my shots here, see like that. Definitely need to hit them up close. Still gotta find the pump, though. Somehow, in all this, haven't gotten the pump yet. Whenever next update is, that's when they're changing it. So, you know, we have one or two streams to get it done. Oh, this is a real person. I respect the balls. That was just the worst angle, though. Last thing we need is to get caught on the ground floor. See? Wow. You are terminated. I swear bots are harder to hit than real people sometimes. Because real people will dodge. Real people will, like, react, and then you learn to react to their reaction. And then bots, they completely no-sell the fact that you're shooting at them. Oh, dude. I mean, consider that that's essentially 200 damage in two shots right there. What a piece of... You know, I feel like if I had found that pump, what I'm doing is so much cooler than what he's doing. Why is he wasting his time making that clip? Nice. Just knew I still had the flow berry effect on so I could push that. I, maybe he thought he was going to hit me from the other side. Allowed me to live, I guess, bro. Come on. I'm getting boned by the loot. I'm getting boned by the skill based. This is low key why content creators play other games. Completing a challenge in Fortnite is actually an accomplishment. And I feel like the player base doesn't even appreciate that, man. Soon after. We're just playing it slow. Guy doesn't know he's in the bush. They don't know about my car.
Why am I stuck in the lobby with pure sweats, dude? I'm gonna take a break. I'll be back. Five to seven minutes. Oh, try again. So when Epic introduced the new Marvel season, they brought in a new Monarch pistol. And this thing is pretty awesome. But unfortunately, when they introduced it, it had a bit of a glitch. And because of this glitch, they've had to change how this weapon functions. And currently, it doesn't have its gimmick, which is that it fires faster from the hip fire. Instead, it fires the same speed as its ADS and hits just as hard. Because of this, until the next update, which will be September 4th, we have the ability to double pump in the Marvel X Fortnite season. And I've actually noticed while playing quite a bit over two hours of streaming that the pump shotgun drop rates have been severely nerfed from the chests. So in order to do this or even get a pump if you're a builder, you're gonna have to land on specific NPCs. You could land on Peabody in the middle of the desert map, but you could also land on Ruckus. And he is a specialist as well. So for 500 gold, you get a purple pump and an NPC. This is going to be great in build mode. But because we're testing out double pump, I'm playing zero build. Okay, because this is a bot, I'm going to fly in there with the purple pump because I want to show off the purple pump's fire rate. That is full fire rate right there. Decently fast, but not good enough. That's enough time for someone to switch SMG on you. Oh, and I was queuing into zero build, but I noticed I am in build. So, if anything, we can use the Monarch pistol as a bit of a wall puncher. Similar to how you'd use a Deagle. Uh, we'll see if we can make that work. Here we are, close quarters Monarch. So you see, when I'm aimed down the sight... It's decently fast, actually. It runs off the light ammo, which is really one of the saving graces of this weapon. And from the hip... Now it's hitting for the same damage. That same on the green in particular. A 68. Okay. So we got a dude here. We hit him for a 68. I kind of messed up my build there. Did he not go inside? Where did this guy go? This guy just noped out, dude. He absolutely noped out. Where did he go? That doesn't even make sense, bro. He, like, literally disappeared off the face of the earth. Was he a ghost? Was he a phantom? Did he already have Mysterio's coin? What are we... I don't know what's happening. Nice. Those 115 headshots, no joke. I'm also noticing my homie has a Sovereign. Oh, it's all the... Why can I hear that, bro? I could hear them from all the way over there. He f died to another person. He died to another dude who was trying to third party. Nice, dude. Much, much, much later. 100% bots. There we go. He's gonna go for the loot. Bot logic, man. Did he clip that? What is he, what are you pausing for? Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know who pulled up to get murked right there. What? I think this guy has aimbot. What are you even talking about? There's no way. There's no way he double dinks me, first shot headshot on immediate target acquisition. So lame. And then he turns it off because he's fighting a bot. He's fighting a literal f bot not building in the lake. So now he's missing every shot. Oh, still off by that much. Try it again. I'm kind of hoping that I get a pump out of one of these. Even though I know it's not going to happen. Oh, we got the Monarch. There we go. And just like that, we've completed the set. And we are playing in zero build as well. So, you know, hopefully I don't get double dinged. Instead, I'll get triple dinged. Okay. 
The programming there was terrifying. It was like he was a horror movie monster. Hundred percent bots. Ah, he ducked so well. I'm telling you, bots? They're like harder, harder to fight than regular players sometimes. People head to Nitrodrome and then immediately head to the uh, antennas that are up there. Oh, there's antenna right here. This isn't even the real antenna though. I got fooled by this jank ass Borderlands antenna. That's not the radar. I'm like permanently stuck in the sweat lobbies. I cannot escape. I'm getting killed by sweats that literally don't miss a single shot every single game. And what am I meeting until then? AI. 60 to 70 AI and like 20 real people. It's absurd, man. These lobbies are Ooh, ah. absurd. All right, I'm 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 tapping out on this challenge. Skill-based makes it virtually impossible to do cool content because it punishes you for being good at the game. It punishes you for playing a game. The more you play, the harder it gets. So it's essentially running a treadmill that progressively increases an incline. So I don't know who the f that system is fun to. I guess it increases engagement for them. Because while I'm over here complaining that my lobbies are full of bots, there are kids who love that their lobbies, lobbies are full of bots. And that they get to just beat up on poorly programmed AI all day. And they stack the dubs. Because the difference between their lobbies and my lobbies is once they run into actual players, they're f potatoes, just like them. But when I run into actual players, it's gods. I've run into Cypher PK, Zemi, and Asian Jeff within the past month. That's who's in my lobbies. I play next to pro players, and it's a really crushing experience.